Hey guys and welcome back to, again to me Ben playing City Skylines. Today I'm back with a quick tutorial on how to create parallel roads and the way you hardly could ever do it without any mods in City Skylines 1. So for this one, um, and I'll provide a link for you down in the description below, um, I use the network multi-tool and one classic thing that you will most likely need at some point in time in your game is when you want to create a parallel highway so let me just create like something more difficult uh, to be done by hand and imagine the situation that you want to have um, a highway leading in the other direction following this highway and for that you can use the network multi-tool for me it's uh, grouped into the unified ui mod which is something you do not necessarily need but there is one option here and this is let me just check and see and this is this one down there the create parallel mode so as soon as you activate it you basically start selecting the nodes or all parts of your road where you want to have parallel road sitting and then you have two separate options and for me i had to change the initial setup or the initial key binding because um, obviously i could use the minus key for decreasing the distance between the parallel roads um, but I wasn't able to use the standard key. Um, so I had to use a different key for that. And I set it to the regular dot or full stop, however you want to call it, um, to increase the distance between both roads. So as soon as you figured your desired uh, distance between both roads you can actually just uh, leave it like that and hit the return enter button and then basically you have two roads as planned in a very nice and neatly way uh, organized parallel to each other so that's that's the first thing uh, the other thing you can actually do and this is a an example that I will most likely use very quickly or very soon in my current city build of Spring Valley. And this is, for example, if you want to have another road, like I'm taking one of those standard rural roads here, um, that I want to use and that I would like to have follow this highway from here to, let's say, up to here to connect it to this road in the end you can always choose a different type of road so it doesn't necessarily have to be like the same type of road you can always choose any kind of road here and you could even switch it then you have to do it again because otherwise it doesn't work but it's easy to like mark this here and for example increase the distance between both roads so I would like to set it to a level like this for example hit the return button again and then you have a completely perfect following road that follows exactly the the highway here and there is only one thing obviously um, because like for example this here I chose the unmodded road placement behavior i think here it placed down um, a bridge because it was necessary because of the height difference of the terrain it's kind of a ba basin here which is maybe the reason why it chose to do that but you can always like go back to the ground mode and uh, replace the existing road with this setting active here and then yeah you're good you have a parallel road following the highway connection so it's a very helpful tool i can highly recommend using it because you can do way more sophisticated things than you ever 
was able to do or would have been able to do before. So in that case, uh, that's about it. Thank you very much for following me here. Um, if you like this tutorial, please leave me a comment, leave me a like. And yeah, if you want to get notified as soon as I'm publishing new content for you, just hit the subscribe button and you'll get notified automatically. Thanks a lot for joining me again and have a good one. Bye bye.